Happy Thanksgiving. I want to show you guys how to make the best turkey and gravy for Thanksgiving. Start off with some herb butter. I've got a separate video for that. And kind of the start of the show is some real Duke's mayo. Uh, I know it's kind of weird, but it makes the, the herb butter more creamy and it's going to help protect that skin on the turkey. Then we're going to get the uh, carrots and onions and celery. It's going to go below the turkey. It's going to help create some great flavors uh, for that gravy that we're going to make here in the future. Um, but grab some onion, uh, celery, carrots, lemon, and garlic, and uh, these are going to really help develop that future gravy. Put all of that in a nice roasting pan. Uh, and then grab the turkey, put it right on there. Now enjoy my daughter singing in the background. The next step is you're gonna wanna take that skin and just kind of gently rip it apart. That butter is gonna go on top of the turkey, but also it's gonna go under that skin. Now I like to put the innards right in the cavity. I know not everyone likes that. Uh, but pat the bird dry and then get to work on that butter. Again, it's gonna go everywhere. Um, the flavor needs to go right in uh, on top of the turkey, but also right under that skin in the cavity. You're just going to put this everywhere. It's going to be gorgeous. Now for some extra flavor boost, I like to add an onion, uh, lemon, garlic, some rosemary, some thyme uh, right into that cavity. And then you're going to get ready to uh, season it. I use uh, this Dirty Bird seasoning. Uh, you don't have to go crazy with it. Just kind of make a nice coating around it. Roast that bird for 30 minutes at 450. You want it to get real high so you can get a, a great skin on it. And then here's where it gets fun. We're going to coat the whole turkey uh, with bacon. Yes, bacon. What's going to happen is that bacon is going to protect the skin, but then also it's going to, that fat is going to render into the meat. It's going to be gorgeous. Pop that back in the oven at 325 until the internal temp reaches uh, 165 degrees but every 20 to 30 minutes you want to take the turkey out and baste it so get a nice turkey baster uh, lap up that liquid and put it all over the turkey that's going to help the the turkey to be real nice and juicy uh, as it's getting done you're going to see that bacon is going to be completely rendered out so you can when the turkey's done take all that bacon off this is going to be a great start to our gravy that we're going to make now, I've always seen people using butter and flour and stock as the start to their gravy. We're going to do it up different. We're going to start with bacon, that garlic, and we're going to cut up some onions. That's going to be the start of this. Now, we're going to take all of the, that pan liquid. We're going to separate it. Now, don't throw away those, uh, those vegetables because that's also going to be a key element of this, uh, this gravy. Chop up those, uh, the garlic, the celery, the onions, uh, and you're going to want to keep that because that's going to be a thickening agent. That we use so we'll start off by by putting that bacon back on the stove and then we're going to add the garlic and onions and we're going to sweat that down for a few minutes uh, but I, I like to add the the gizzards right into right into that and then we're going to add some of those pan drippings uh, so this is going to be the gravy okay so again we're not using flour and stock and butter we're going to render this down get a nice boil on it we're going to let this liquid simmer uh, for a while until it reduces by about 25 percent and then we're going to strain out uh, the solids from those liquids. Now we want to keep all of that. Uh, we're not going to uh, throw any of that away, but once we separate it, we're going to take that liquid and then we're going to put it back uh, into that Dutch oven so that can continue to uh, simmer. And then we're going to take some of those solids with a little bit of liquid and we're going to blend that up. This is going to be our beautiful thickening agent that we use instead of flour and butter. Uh, so that also is packed with flavor. And so add a little bit so, until you get the consistency that you want. And that is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to take that, put it over the cut up turkey and wowzers. Oh, <laughs> so good. <laughs>